5K run. Stride length. Working on your stride length helps to improve your range of motion to help reduce running economy. For a 5K run, it's important to do some kind of interval running, like a 440 meter, 10 times. Here we have Lucas performing a squat exercise. He's just coming to 90 degrees. Um, the purpose of this is to improve his running power and his VO2. Um, he's using heavier weights, doing repetitions of eight to develop his uh, gluteal and quad strength. The next exercise is your classic lunge. Um, he is going slower on his eccentric, like a four count, um, and this is going to make him a more efficient downhill runner and improve his strength for a 5K. He's again using heavier weights with a rep of eight. is doing a running specific pulley exercise with a human sport line, uh, the pulley system. He's standing in an upright position with long pulleys in his hands. Uh, his feet are hip width apart, leaning slightly forward to find his center of gravity. He's displaying running arm movement with torso rotational movement. And this is sport specific training for his upper body core strength. It also improves the runner's coordination. Lucas here is developing strength for his core. Um, it's imperative for the endurance runner. The lumbopelvic area is the runner's powerhouse that initiates the movement of running. Here we have a BOSU ball with a wheel to pull in um, for core strength. So Lucas first planks off of the BOSU ball with his feet at the wheel platform, and then he tucks his knees in toward the midline of his body, then he goes back to the plank exercise. This should be performed two sets of 20 reps. Okay, this is a torsional movement um, on the holy, human sport pulley single side. Um, it's another core rotational strength exercise for increasing the runner's power in a 5K race. See, this is a burpee jump to squat plyometric exercise. This exercise starts off with a plank to push up to jump to jumping hop. You want to perform three sets of six. This plyometric exercise should only be done after an athlete has developed a strong base of support. Adding plyometric exercises helps to improve a runner's economy, strength, and power to gain the momentum needed to sprint to the finish. Okay, here we see Lucas doing a gluteal band exercise. Um, you want to take a round small band and place it around the ankles. Stand upright with hands on hips and press one foot back to initiate tension on the glutes and hamstrings. This exercise is another strength exercise to increase strength and power in the glute and hamstring complex. Here we see I'm stretching Lucas's tensor fascia lata. This is a muscle that gets extremely tight in endurance runners. Helps to reduce the chance of him getting IT band syndrome, which is a common injury related to running. You want to hold each stretch for 30 seconds. Finally, Lucas is doing a hip flexor stretch. This is another area that gets tight in endurance runners. Um, first, he's going into a deep lunge with one leg contacting the floor and the other knee is bent. The leg with the hip flexor that's being stretched should have the same arm raised for a deeper stretch. The stretch should be done after a run. Uh, same time frame allotted for this stretch at 30 seconds. 